So in this video, I'm going to download and install the Tiny 1123H2 Windows version. I'm going to download the ISO image here. So the size of the ISO image is 3.5 gigabytes. So I'm going to create a bootable USB drive and I'm going to use Rufus to create that bootable USB drive. So on the Rufus website, you want to download the Rufus exe file. This is it here. I already downloaded it, so I'm going to open Rufus. Now the USB drive that I'm using is 16 gigabytes in size. I'm going to click select. I'm going to select the ISO file. I'm going to leave everything as is, click start, click OK. Is it going to wipe out everything from the USB drive? I'll click OK. So the USB drive was created successfully. So now I'm going to boot up the computer with this USB drive. So I'm going to be installing Tiny Windows 11 23H2 in a Lenovo laptop. So I booted into the BIOS. I want to make sure that Secure Boot is disabled. So I'll click on Secure Boot and Secure Boot is disabled. So I'm going to reboot this Lenovo laptop into BIOS. So I'm going to boot into the USB drive. So I'll click Next. I'll click Install now. So if you have a license key, you can input it here. I'm going to say I don't have a product key right now. I'll check this box. I accept the Microsoft software license terms. Click next. So there are two options here. I'm going to select custom install. So I'm going to delete all these partitions. So I'm going to use the entire drive to install this tiny Windows 11. I'll click next. So it's installing Windows. So I'm going to click restart now. So okay, I have to choose the country. I'm going to select United States. Click yes. So the keyboard layout is going to be in US. I'm going to click yes. I'm going to skip this page. So it's checking for updates. So I'm going to enter a name. Click next. I'm going to leave the password blank. Click next. I'm going to disable location. So I'm going to disable all of these. Click accept. Okay, so Tiny Windows 11 23H2 is installed in this Lenovo laptop. I'm going to click on all apps. So these are all the apps that are installed in this Tiny Windows 11. It has Microsoft Store. So there's no internet browser. For example, there's no Microsoft Edge. There's no Google Chrome. So when you first install Tiny Windows 11 in any computer, you want to make sure that your drivers for the computer are up to date and installed. So I'm going to go to Device Manager. So these are some of the drivers are not installed as yet. So it's installing, it's pulling the drivers from the internet. So I'm connected to the internet by Ethernet cable. So all the drivers have been installed for this laptop. So I'm going to change the resolution. So I'm going to check the control panel. So I'll click on program and features. So I'm going to click on Windows Update. And I'm going to click on settings. Click on Windows Update and I'm going to check for updates. Okay, so there's some updates. So I'm going to let the updates run. I want to make sure that this tiny Windows 11 is updated. So in the search section here, I'm going to type about. So it's Windows 11 Pro and the version is 23H2. So these are the specs of the laptop that I installed tiny Windows 11 in. So I'm going to click restart. So I'm going to check for updates again. So okay, tiny Windows 11 23H2 is up to date. So on the left side, I'll click on system, there's Bluetooth, so there's personalization, there's time and language, there's gaming, accessibility, privacy and security. So I'm going to open the Microsoft Store, I'm going to click on library, and I'm going to search for the app installer. So this is it here, so I'm going to install this app installer, I'm going to click on update. And it's downloading. So I'm going to install Microsoft Edge. But I'm going to use the winget command to do that. So I'm going to open command prompt. 
run as administrator and I'm going to type winget install edge. I'm going to type Y, hit enter. So this is installing Microsoft Edge. So this will be the latest version of Microsoft Edge. So Microsoft Edge is installed. So this Microsoft Edge also has the Copilot installed. This is the icon here. I'll right click the taskbar, click on taskbar settings. So I'm going to install Google Chrome for Microsoft Edge. So Google Chrome is installed. So I can also enable remote desktop. I'll click on remote desktop settings and I'm going to turn this on. So this tiny Windows 11.3 H2 is working really nice. It's working fast. So I installed tiny Windows 11.23 H2 in a Lenovo laptop. So this is the laptop C drive. As you can see, it only took up about 38 gigs of hard drive space. So you will need a Windows 11 license key to activate this tiny Windows 11 23H2. So I hope this video was helpful to you and I thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.